You know what sticks in my mind when I read this is exactly what God says. He loves us so much that his, he has prearranged our lives because he wants you and I to be an expression of his grace to this sinful world. And you think to yourself, but I don't know you, God. My life's a mess enough as it is. And he says, that may be true. But I want you to know that I've loved you enough that I'm going to start synchronising with you more and more. The depth of our engagement is going to become more and more intimate so that without you even realising it, as you live the relationship I have with you, you are going to inadvertently begin to shine my love, my kindness, my forgiveness, my patience, my tolerance, my gospel, my Bible truth, my affection for my church. I'm going to start oozing those things out of you. It's a bit like permeating through a sponge. Why would God want to use me to do such a high and lofty job as that? Well, I can tell you it's got nothing to do with me. It's not because I'm a good guy. It's because he loves me with a gracious love. A love that says, I loved you before I made the earth. Before I made the universe, I loved you so much that I was willing to rearrange human history to get you to where I want you so that I can have my will for your life fulfilled so that you can be my ambassador. And so God has intentionally been working from eternity past to accomplish this in your life. Your life in Christ enables you to speak well of God's magnificent, undeserved love. In Christ, you qualify, beloved, to bring God pleasure. If you do not have Jesus Christ, you are not qualified to bring him pleasure because whether you realize it or not, you are still living as the enemy of God. And if you want to know why you do not feel affection in your heart towards God, it is because you do not have the Holy Spirit living in you. If you want to understand why you feel some days that you want to just keep pushing God away and you say in your heart, leave me alone, God, it is because sin reigns in your heart instead of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the only way God has made it possible for those feelings of wanting to push God away is for you to have Jesus as your saviour, as the forgiver of your sin and as master of your life so that then you will want, genuinely want, even on the darkest days to say, God, fill my life, invade my life, rule my life, conquer my life. Be everything you want to be in my life so that you get the pleasure and I become the light radiating out your love. 